Hey guys, it's me, JC. Welcome back to my channel. In this channel, we do videos about tech. So if you like those kinds of stuffs, uh, go ahead and click subscribe and also that bell icon. Today, we are going to talk about film equipment or camera equipment gadgets. Uh, what I'm talking about is light. We are not going to be talking about my light setup for today. But if you're interested in seeing or knowing what I use or if you want me to make a video, go ahead uh, down in the comment section. Let me know so I know if you guys want to see those kind of videos. Before I continue more in this video, I would just like to do a quick shout out to Alanzi for sending me their products. This is the BGM VL1 and also another thing here. Where's that thing? Oh, it's right here. This thing right here, I don't know if you can see that. Thanks Alanzi for sending me this thing and also the light. Uh, if you're interested in knowing what this is, stick around this video so you can figure out what this thing is. I'm gonna be putting this on the side. So, you might be wondering, where is the light? It's right there, see? Uh, the point of this video is, you can use this light anywhere to spice up your video, your photography game, or anything in DL light. So, as you can see here, I use it to make an accent light with that thing. So, I'm gonna be getting it. I don't know if... Yeah. So this is the BGM VL1. As you can see, it's really small, but it packs a lot of light in it. And this is only on 40%. Imagine 100. Well, 100 is actually really bright. So let's talk about the specs of this thing. If, if I hold it like this, it's look, it looks like I'm holding the sun when I'm doing it like this. So it's really bright. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the specs on this thing. Again, this is the BGM VL1. Let's first talk about the build quality of this thing. It is made out of metal, as you can see on the back and on the side. This is made out of aluminum alloy. So you got this very uh, solid feeling device on your hand. It does not feel cheap. It feels pretty premium for what it's price. Uh, if you're wondering what this thing costs, it's around $40 and at around uh, 30 if it's on sale sometimes I saw this on sale the other day so there's that if you're wondering the price so yeah so on the back you're gonna be seeing an OLED screen this is co two colored yellow on the top and blue on the bottom uh, you're gonna be seeing your battery percentage the the estimated use time color temperature and also the brightness level now you can adjust that on the button uh, there's a scroll bar or there's a scroll wheel on the side of the of the light so you can adjust that just by pushing up or down and also pressing that will adjust both uh, either the colors or the brightness of the panels on the top you're gonna be seeing a USB type C port and also the power button itself using this at 100% brightness will give you around an hour of use time and at its lowest setting which is 5% you will be given at least 17 hours of maximum use time 100 percent for an hour is pretty short in my opinion but in my use case i really hadn't had the reason to use it at that brightness so it really depends on what you're going to be using this for i normally use this at around 40 to 70 percent earlier it was 40 right there and now you have the idea on how bright that really is i'm going to be showing the different brightness levels later so stick around so you can see that since we're already talking about the battery life, this thing can be fully charged at 100% for less than 3 hours. It also comes with its very own USB Type-C and also a carrying pouch, which is nice. This is a dual tone light or a dual color light, if you will, which means it can go from warm to cold. It depends on your use case scenario. The warmest color temperature this thing can get is 3000K and the coldest Temperature is 6,500. I normally use this at around 5,000 because that is what the most natural looking light is. The VGM VL1 also has a CRI rating of 96, which is really good considering the price of this thing. 
So what are the use cases with the BGM VL1 or any other pocket light if you will? Well, in my case as a videographer or a content creator, I can use this to make my setting or my set a little bit nicer looking by using this to light up random things on the background or maybe even the foreground if I wanted to. And with its variable color temperature, it really gives a vibe on whatever type of atmosphere you want your set to be and I think that's really helpful. This also can be very useful as a portable light if you're uh, planning to film at the dark or at night it can be very bright so it is gonna be lighting up that very dark environment especially on a hiking trip or anything of that sorts and since it's using USB type C you don't have to worry about external batteries or external chargers since you already have or you probably have your own power bank which your phone uses you can also use that with this light so it's very good for beginners as well before I end this video, I forgot to mention what, what this thing is. So this is a phone holder uh, sent by Olansi as well. So thank you guys for sending this to me. I will be making a separate video about uh, YouTube setup using your mobile phone. And this thing is going to be one of those things. The thing I like about this it is it's really portable. As you can see earlier, I folded it. It didn't even recognize that this is a phone holder. And it's made out of metal. Uh, it has a lot of features. I like it. It has this. I use this on my tripod as well. So it fitted the hot shoe or what do you call this? A quick release. Yeah, it has this Benro quick release adapter on the bottom. So you can easily slide this on your tripod if you have that already. But if you don't have it also has a quarter inch screw at the bottom. So you can put any accessories or you can mount this on any tripod. You screw in your phone and it's secured. It also has a hot shoe mount on the top so you can mount your shotgun microphones while you're blogging. So there's that. I'll be showing that on my full uh, blogging setup for YouTube using your mobile phone. So if you're interested in that video, go ahead and click subscribe so you'll be notified whenever, whenever I upload that video. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you dislike this video, you know what to do. If you have any comments, suggestions, or recommendations, especially things you want me to uh, check out, leave them down in the comment section below. So um, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. It's JC signing out. See you on the next one. Peace.